This is uh, regarding a hit and run case, yet another hit and run case that is being reported out of Mumbai. One person has died, another person has been injured due to a speeding SUV that ran over two people on the Varsova beach. A rickshaw driver has been killed and his friend has been seriously injured. When we talk about uh, the car driver and uh, the person in the car, along with him, both those people have now been arrested. Uh, they apparently uh, did get out of the vehicle, but seeing that the two men were seriously injured and unresponsive, that's when they fled from the scene of the crime. But now the two men have been arrested. To get more details, we have Anuj joining us. Anuj, uh, 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 when we talk about these two men, uh, they, you know, this incident that took place in the wee hours of uh, the 12th of August, when were the arrests finally made? A, a sort of a result of what happened in the early hours of the 12th of August when when two rickshaw drivers, when they were resting uh, close to the Warsaw Beach in the early hours of the day, of course, were ramped over by, a SU, by an SUV and that resulted in the death of one of the persons, whereas the other person was severely injured. Uh, and now, from what we know is that a five-day police custody has been granted to both the accused here in this case, and uh, they are they are said to be a business. They are said to be businessmen from Nagpur. A five-day police custody has been uh, has been announced for them. And one of the major, uh, two of the major proofs here in this particular case would be firstly the blood samples, uh, the, the the blood samples which have been sent for testing to determine if the driver was under any sort of influence uh, of alcohol when this accident happened. And secondly. Uh, while one of the while one of the two people who were sleeping uh, there on the beach when this accident happened has been injured, the other has unfortunately been deceased. So the testimony of the one who is severely injured will play a very important role here in this in the development of this case. Now we will be able to see on to what level is the police able to use it because for the next five days there is a police custody. So the blood reports are expected to be out by then uh, are expected to be expected to be out soon. And also if the person who is who is severely injured at the moment if he is in any better situation to speak about uh, what happened exactly that night uh, it would really help the case for the from the police perspective but as of now a five-day police custody has been granted and the blood samples have been sent for testing to see if there is any sort of influence of alcohol in this case through which we can see that this just fits into another case as we are looking at this particular pattern of hit and run cases especially from Maharashtra from what started in Pune uh, you know a, a few months ago to what happened in Varli here in Mumbai uh, and now we are seeing that uh, uh, this ha case has again brought light back to the rights of pedestrians and even after repeated uh, awareness campaigns not just by media but also by the police officials and by the government uh, a similar sort of case has come into light so it will be interesting to see what course of action will the law take what course of action will the police take uh, post the uh, police custody ends which is uh, uh, next week we will keep tracking that story and of course uh, a 34 year old and a 33 year old uh, uh, in that car that SUV that ran over two people one has seriously injured the other one has died a rickshaw driver a 36 year old rickshaw driver has died due to that hit and run case in Mumbai this took place uh, during the wee hours of the 12th of August we will keep getting you all the very latest and all the details of that case uh, thank you Anush for joining us